Shalom, Shalom. All praises to Yahweh. Bashim Yahweh, Bashim Yahweh, Now my heart is in the elders of great wisdom. Peace and salutations to the elect, to the speckled birds, all the Israelites, love like the heathen nations. Peace and salutations to all the brothers that are out there doing the work out on the highways and byways, pushing this truth and trying to wake up the elect in the last days. To you, I say, shout the world. And now I just want to do a little quick video on uh, this article that I have seen on uh, Natural News. And I go to this uh, website pretty frequently. It's like an uh, alternative news media outlet, you know. Just you can get information from, you know, uh, get into and bring out, you know. And uh, this has been going on for, you know, probably about, I don't know, a week or so. Now, and it's starting to grow slowly about this uh, protest. It's not a riot, but it's like a little protest of circus that I have in, you know, over in uh, Ottawa. Ottawa is in uh, Canada, but you all they don't know, you know. I'm going to read, you know, the title. It says, Ottawa police threatens to arrest citizens who give food and water to cowboy truckers. The police have become the terrorists. So, hey, man, you know, with this protest or this strike that these truckers are on, man, you know, you know, they they tired of the uh the, the you know the mandates, man. You know, that's what the, that's why they you know they uh it was uh going on striker, police protesting, you know, and you know the police the chief man they don't they don't want these regular citizens giving these truckers man food and water man, <laughs> you know, Esau man they kingdom is falling man everywhere they at man they kingdom is falling man. You know, you know, you know the scripture I got to bring out uh, second edges. You know, this is what time we living in, man. This is a uh, second edges chapter fifteen, verse fourteen. It says, "Woe to the world and to him that the world that rear." Verse fifteen. It says, "For the sword of destruction shall nigh." And one people shall stand up and fight against another, and with swords in their hands. Verse 16, it says, uh, For there shall be sedition amongst men, and invading one another, and they shall not regard their kings nor princes in the course of their actions shall stand in their power. You see that? So this is an example of that. You know, it's, it's on a small level. It's not, it's not, you know, at a high level. You know, it, it's not, you know, nobody like, you know, uh, spraying tear gas, it ain't, it ain't, you know, it ain't nothing major, nothing like that, but they are, you know, going against the government, man, you know, they should not regard the kings nor princes, man, you know, and, uh, in different countries, man, you know, they call, you know, the modern day kings, uh, like, they're called, um, prime ministers in certain countries, um, you know, of course, over here in Babylon, the great America, you know, they call it the president, but, over there in Canada, they have a, a prime minister. That's what they call it. You know, that's what they do. They they not they talking about you know staying there, you know, um in their trucks, you know, blocking you know roads and stuff, you know, until they basically uh reverse that mandate, man, because you know they mandated the uh, the juice for the truckers, man, you know, and they not with it, man. <laughs> Esau against Esau, you know. This is verse 17. It says, um, A man shall desire to go into a city and shall not be able. For because of their pride, the city should be troubled and the houses should be destroyed, men should be afraid. Now, hey, that, this, that's to come, man. You know? Especially over here in Babylon the Great, man. That's to come, man. You know? I'm going to read verse 19. It says, A man shall have no pity upon his neighbor. But shall destroy their houses with the sword, and spoil their goods because of lack of bread and for great tribulation. And these truckers, man, you know what? What? What is their job? Their job is to to bring in the the food, you know, to these stores, man. And these truckers, man, like I said, it's been a couple of days since they've been uh, protesting and whatnot, man. So if they can't go to you know to the store, 
you know, because they they didn't take that juice, you know, the, the government mandated it over there in Canada, bro. What you think is going to happen, bro? You know, it's going to cause a famine, you know? And over time, you know, the food that, that's not getting to the stores is going to spoil. And then the food that's at the store is going to run out, man, you know? People's going to have to, you know, result to different to different avenues to get food, you know? Whether that's uh, stealing from the store, you know, breaking them into people's houses. That's what, that's what it's going to result to, you know? That's what's going to happen, you know? I'm going to get out of Isaiah 10 and 1. It says, Woe unto them that decree a righteous decrees, and that right grievousness which they have prescribed. Verse 2, it says, To turn aside the needy from judgment, and to take away the right from the poor of my people, that widows may be, may be their prey, and that they may rob the fatherless. Man, hey, these Edomites, man, they, they don't care about their own people, man. These at least of Esau, Edom, man, they don't care about their own people, man. You know? They got an agenda to fulfill. They know that they have but a short term. And I, I believe this is a psyop, you know. That's what I believe because, uh, you know, Esau got this thing, you know, where they got uh, something called the Illuminati cars. There's different, like, events that they have on these cars, and, you know. You know and it's, it's you can tell that it's, ev it's evident that a lot of these things that they tell you or show you that's going on on TV is staged, bro. <laughs> you know. They're they're behind it, man. It ain't just come up come up out of nowhere, man. You know, Esau they be paying. You know, you have some called um, agent provocateurs. You know, well, you have a uh, Esau paying people to basically uh do his dirty work, man. You know, paying his own people to do his dirty work and to make it look like that there is something going on, and there's really not. You know. Now, if it, if it really is a psyop, right, I believe it, you know, it's, it's a part of the prophecy, man. The famine has to come, you know, the uh, the part where people um, have to basically perish a famine. Hey, that's all biblical. It's all prophecy it has to take place. The Lord said that he came to send a vision and uh, he came to send a fire on the earth, man. Let's get this in the book of uh, Luke, chapter 12, and verse 51. It says, um, suppose ye that I am come to give peace on earth, I tell you nay, but rather division. You see that? Because the Lord, the Lord is the reason behind all these things that are happening on the earth, man. You know? This is not by coincidence. This is not, you know, something that's just going to happen and uh, blow by, man. You know, even, you know, even if Esau is telling you that, oh, Hey, we're gonna we're gonna lift these restrictions. We're gonna lift these mask mandates, and you know, forget these passports. Hey, don't hey, don't trust Esau, man. The scriptures tell us not to trust our enemies, man. You know, you know, because like I said, we us in this faith, you know, we know that Esau has a short time. But they know they have a short time, man. You know. And these things that are happening, it has to take place, man. The Lord's going to put it on a spirit to keep going. You know? This place can't go on much longer, man. All, with all this division, let's get this in uh, Mark 3 and 25. You know? This place can't go on much longer, man. Ain't no faking it till you make it, man. They, they've been exposed. And there's so many, there's so many Edomites of their own people... They have caught on to their madness, man. To what they have, what they have been doing, and what they have had going on. It says, uh, Mark three twenty five. I'm gonna get up, uh, verse twenty four. It says, uh, and if a kingdom be divided against itself, that kingdom shall, cannot stand. Verse twenty five. And if a house be divided against itself, that house cannot stand. You see that? So. And this this place is definitely divided, bro. You know, everywhere Esau is at, man, hey, it, it, it ain't looking too good, man. You know, it, it's divided, man. 
you know, the, the narrative for what they're trying to push, you know, with this COVID, man, like, he's been found a liar, man. Let's get this in the book of Obadiah. I haven't brought this precept out in a while, you know, in my lessons. Um, this is Obadiah chapter 1 and verse um, 6. It says, how are the things of Esau searched out and are his hidden things sought up? Right. How how are they found out? How are they exposed? You know? Well, like the Lord said, let's get this in the book of uh, Luke, chapter um was it chapter twelve? It says, um, for there is nothing covered that shall not be revealed, neither hid that shall not be known. So, you know, everything that's being exposed and everything that's coming to the light. You know, which is literally everything in these days that we are living in, man. You know, that I, I, I mentioned something about the Illuminati uh, cards. You know, that's something that's, that's, you can look that up, man. It's a real thing. You know, it's a real thing. It's these different cards. It's like a game that Esau then created. I think it's from like the 1990s. And everything that's playing out today, you know, they live, you have like a, a card for it. All these big major events, they have like a card for it, you know. And I mean, I'm gonna I'm I'm see if I could find it. Yeah, here it go. Hey, you know, this is this is what it, this is what the cards look like, you know. So you know, nothing, nothing is uh by coincidence, man. These devils, man, and the Lord put it in their spirit to do these things and to carry them out. You know, why the why the world, most of the world, they don't understand, nor do they uh care. About the things that are going on, you know, until until it personally affects them, man. You know, the world is in gross darkness, man. The majority of the people, man, these, the majority of these Edomites, the majority of the, and these other heathen nations, you know, Ham and uh, our people, you know, Israel, y'all are in darkness, man. You know, two thirds of our people, you so called blacks and so called Hispanics and Native Americans, two thirds of them are in darkness, man. You know, these, these Hamites, these uh, Elamites, Moabites, Ammonites, the majority of them are in darkness, man. You tell them something like this, they're going to be like, oh, get that out of my face. That ain't, that ain't true, you know. And you got the evidence to show them, they're not going to listen. I guess the Lord has blinded them, man. So you think this is about coincidence that something like this is uh, out there? No, this ain't about coincidence, man. The Lord put it in these devils' um, mind. Because the, the Lord controls, you know, everybody, man. The Lord controls the right hand and the left hand, man. He said, I want and I heal and I kill and I make alive. I create good and I create evil. Plain and simple. You know? So even though it may seem, you know, like a, a genuine thing, hey, Esau is still behind it. You know? And it's all a part of his, uh, his NWO that he wants to carry out because he knows, but he has a short time. Right? And now let's get this in the book of uh, Revelation. Then I'm going to close out because it was something. Um, this is a quick lesson. You know, I wasn't going to do too much with this. It says, uh, Revelation chapter 12, verse 12. It says, Therefore rejoice ye heavens, and ye that dwell in them. Woe to the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea. For the devil is coming out unto you, having a great wrath, because he knoweth that he had but a short time. But who is that devil? He saw Edom, the so-called white man. You know, he's gonna keep coming. You know, with these different um, events, but hey, it's all through the spirit power. You have about Shemuel Shad that he's doing these things because this, you know, Esau is the end of the world. Jacob is the beginning of it. That follow, man. There has to be a time of Jacob's trouble that's gonna take place. A time like never before. You know, this earth has never seen it. it just, this is the beginning of it. You know, but uh. I'm going to end off on that. Um, all praises to you. How about Shemuel Shah? About Shemuel Kragadash. Double honors to the elders of Great Millstone. And peace and salutations to the elect and to the speckled bird. And to all the Israelites who look like the heathen nations. Peace and salutations to all the brothers that are out there doing the work. Risk your lives and your freedoms. Out on the highways and byways teaching the word. In season and out of season. Why? Ba ba ba. Shalom.